Okay, this video is regarding insurance. First of all, up here at the top, um, you can choose for your contract to say rent or lease. Um, some insurance recommends uh, renting your item or leasing your item somehow that makes it easier legally. I don't know. We are not uh, attorneys. We're not giving financial or legal advice here. It's just an option there if you need to use that. Um, we do have two major companies that specialize in commercial RV rental insurance. There's MBA and there's Triad. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about MBA first here. Um, They have uh, one product for travel trailers and utility items and ATVs. Um, so if you choose MBA, you'll just be choosing um, this button here. You've chosen MBA. There is an issue with travel trailers. Um, most renters liability insurance that they have on their tow vehicle will extend to a trailer which means that if they back your trailer into another car their liability is going to pay for that damage not all liability extends to a trailer which means if they back it into another car you could be liable because you're the owner of the trailer now what we have here is a form that you can send them along with their confirmation email which will have a link to a form where their insurance company can fill out information on their insurance verifying that the liability extends to a trailer. I recommend using that form and making sure that their liability extends to a trailer. In the event of a death, it could be a fairly serious issue. Now, with Triad, they actually offer or include a liability insurance, so you don't have to worry about that. Triad can be a little cheaper than MBA. For both those reasons, Triad may be a better insurance company to use. Now on motorhomes, this is what the form is going to look like. They have a few more options here. They have three products they sell. Um, the f let's start with this bottom one here. It's called secondary, which is exactly that. Um, they want your renter to provide a binder and their secondary insurance kicks in if there's a problem with the binder. It's fairly inexpensive insurance, but if you're going to be requiring a binder, you might as well not even pay for any insurance, really. This next one here is their standard full coverage. It's great insurance. Everything's good to go, you're covered, but it is expensive. Um, and the first one here, MBA Choice, is a great product, but you have to have two motorhomes insured with them to use this product. The way it works is um, the renter is going to pay about $24 a night, depending on the value of your RV, which means they're paying about half, really more than half, of the insurance. And there will be a link where they can go register with MBA and you'll be notified that they have purchased their insurance. Um, let's see. Now, we do have some other insurance options here. Uh, they're really just here. Um, like this first one, binder required. Um, the little listing statement's just going to say, uh, item is not insured, renter must provide an insurance binder. Um, 
this really is better than purchasing primary second or MBA secondary insurance. Um, if you're getting a binder, you might as well just go with the binder. These next two, not required or additional, um, the listing statement just says insurance is not included. You can get a binder or assume full responsibility. That's really something um, that you might use on a thousand dollar utility trailer. The next one is it's additional. Um, listing statement says insurance is $25 per night or whatever value you choose. And then it says see terms for complete details. You just want to add complete details in your terms. Um, I need to advise you though, it is illegal in most states for anybody to sell insurance unless you're a licensed insurance agent. Um, so that's there if you can use it. Again, we're not attorneys. We're not offering legal advice. And uh, this last one here, it's optional. Listing statement says insurance is offered for $25 a night. Uh, and then they can choose to purchase it or not purchase it. These two really go together. Um, can use one or the other. And then finally, we have other insurance. If you have another company you're using or... Uh, some other source of insurance you can uh, put details here choose that and and an explanation of your insurance now down here we want you to list your VIN number for theft protection and in the event that someone's getting a binder their insurance will want that VIN number and finally we just want you to list existing damage normal wear is typical if you also have a dent in your left rear bumper you can list that this is probably the best place to put that and that's all there is for this video thank you